other. Oh my god. Literally? It's a dang tornado. One might say, it's fucked. <laughs> Where did it come from? Literally moments ago, it was we dead rolled calm. up and it was dead, dead calm. calm. I laid out my wing. And it's like a freaking hurricane. Let's take a cute family photo. Ready? <laughs> sorry, 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 sorry. A beautiful flew right at my what? arm. And go tickle his armpits. Oh, 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 reflex. <laughs> no, no, Don't no. Drop it. <laughs> no. Nice wang. It's really windy. Yeah, what the heck? What are your thoughts? Can you imagine if we rolled up like five minutes earlier? I would have gone up to test the air. There would have been a hurricane. <laughs> I would have crashed. Could you imagine if I was up? <laughs> what a <laughs> shit storm. <laughs> Okay, so the story goes, we came here to fly and there were thunderstorms like greater than 50 miles away and it was like really quiet and then all of a sudden it got really windy. So I figured all hope is not lost. Let's um, do a little kiting session because I never really show. Oh my God, literally. <laughs> oh my God. Get, just get off. Best videographer ever. I'm sorry. On a serious note, I want to do a little Sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> On a serious note, I want to do a little kiting and show how collapses happen or more than likely a full frontal collapse um, for people that like don't, they're at the bare minimum understanding. If you are a pilot, you obviously already know this information. Um, but the guys that don't understand the mechanics of a wing, I want to kind of demonstrate how collapses happen because everyone has this theory that they're like, oh, why don't you just make an inflatable wing with stiff rods and it'll never collapse. But that wouldn't work if it was a thing. The smart people in the industry would have figured it out already. So we want to show some collapses. I'm going to kite the wing. We got the free ride mobile. So we clip in for a reverse launch by spinning our risers around. And what we do is we follow straight down, we grab our brakes like so, and then you flip a do your risers so that they're straight again and your brakes are crossed, but the lines on top, the A's are not. So what I have in my hand is the A's, they go to the front of the wing. And in order to inflate your wing, you lightly yank on the A's, which decreases the angle of attack, allowing the wing to come up. It kind of scoops the air and it surges up above you. So I'm gonna do that now. And it's really windy, so it just jumped into action. So what I wanna show you guys is basically how to prevent a frontal collapse. And the way you prevent a collapse is by adding brake deflection. Basically what happens is when you're kiting or flying, you encounter turbulence like that. All of a sudden the wind, the wind increased and what it does is causes the wing to surge. And if you let it surge, that's how a frontal happens. So basically when the, the wing surges forward, the angle of attack decreases to the point that the wind actually hits the top of the wing and then it folds on. I'm just holding light brake pressure which increases the angle of attack, preventing it from frontaling. But if I let it go just a little bit, and boom. That would be a frontal collapse. The wing goes limp, it takes tension off of the lines, and it in flight would tuck under more so. attempt to demonstrate this concept better, I made a highly advanced scientific model of an airfoil out of a piece of wire and an old pizza box. This concept comes from a guy named Andre who made a great video with a model like this. I loved your video. 
So basically what we've got here is the airfoil cross section of our paraglider. The lines are attached on the bottom like this and we basically have a pendulum. So our relative wind is coming from the front towards the back. Now if we encounter turbulence, what will happen is the wing pitches forward. It's a pendulum after all, so the wing will pitch forward like this and at some point that relative wind is gonna hit the top surface of the wing as the angle of attack decreases. Now what happens in that situation is the relative wind hits the top surface, our airfoil deforms on the front, and then you get your frontal collapse where the wing disappears. Next, I wanna demonstrate how to recover from that sort of situation. So what I wanna show you now is if I do the same thing, let up on the brakes and let the wing start to frontal, but just as it starts to frontal, is on me. Just as it starts the frontal, I'm gonna hit the brakes and catch it, and you'll see that the wing is gonna go like this and start to fall. Then I'm gonna pull the brakes on the back and it's gonna catch again and it's gonna keep flying. Okay, so it's stable. Let it frontal, pull brakes, and recover. That was like just past the edge of a frontal and I got it back. Let's try it again. Let it frontal, pull brake, and it's back. Let it frontal, pull brake, and it's back. Okay, so this time we had our airfoil flying nicely into the wind. We allowed it to pitch forward just enough that we allowed the leading edge to deform and the angle of attack to become negative. But right when that happened, we applied brake to the trailing edge. And what that does is increases the angle of attack, allows the glider to catch a positive angle of attack again, reinflate and go back into a normal flight attitude. Now when we're actually flying, the idea is to not allow the glider to hit that point and then recover it. The idea is to not let the glider hit that negative angle of attack by keeping our brake deflection and feeling what the wind is doing and adjusting our brake deflection accordingly. So what an experienced pilot would do as they're actively piloting, they would feel the harness inputs through their lines and their risers. They would feel and sense that the wing is starting to jump forward. They would apply just enough brake deflection at that moment to prevent the angle of attack from becoming negative, prevent their wing from collapsing, and keep it fully solid and inflated. And as soon as that moment passes, they would release the brake pressure once again. They don't wanna add too much brake and cause a stall. It really is a balancing act to just find that perfect amount of brake deflection, feel it out, add it in, take it out at just the right time to keep your wing inflated. Nice posture. Don't film me being weird. I am not an instructor, so don't take my words for life or death. I'm gonna remember that. Yeah, I just wanna to demonstrate to you guys how basically the wing will overfly you and just frontal if you do nothing. But active piloting, what we talk about active piloting and turbulence, is holding brake pressure and preventing the wing from getting to that point where it collapses. Hopefully that makes sense. <clears throat> Jacqueline, you see that cloud behind you? Yeah. That's gnarly. That's doom. That's why we're not flying. Also because strong winds. Oh, cool trick. Oh, dang it. All right, so the sun has officially set and it's still windy as heck, so we're definitely not flying tonight. I hope you guys enjoyed my little kiting uh, lesson, quote unquote. I think obviously this video is supposed to be more 
entertainment value than educational value, especially for the people who have never even put their hands on a wing. Um, but if you do start kiting or go through training or whatever, you'll start to learn these things and you practice it while kiting. You get the feel for that right balance and preventing your wing from getting to the negative angle of attack where it collapses. And then you apply it when you're flying in turbulence and you feel that rough air and you apply some brake pressure to keep your wing from surging. So yeah, that's the overall conclusion. Jacqueline, what the hell are you doing? Just sitting. Who sits like that? Me. It's a nice squat. It's kind of weird. You want ice cream? Yep. Let's do it. Yep. Check it out. You would think it's Christmas in here with all the packages. I got a whole bunch of truck parts, nothing that exciting, just maintenance items, oil filters, air filter, fuel filter, that sort of thing. So yeah, we made it back home. The mission didn't turn out exactly as we expected. Normally on a day like today, when conditions don't allow us to fly, I would scrap the video, but today we came up with a good cutting episode. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. And uh, if you wanna pick up this shirt, it's available on the store right now. I'm really digging this color. And uh, yeah, let's link down below if you want one. Aside from that, I will see you guys in the next one. Till then, peace.